Hi Libra. I am here to do a reading for you. And this is a general reading, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Let's get a card and energy to start your reading off with. Okay. Let's see what we have. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. It's a beautiful card. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's get another card. And if you like this reading, please give it a like, share, subscribe, leave comments. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, let's see what we've got. The waiting game. Oops. Okay, no, that goes over here. The waiting game. Mm hmm. So, be in the present and dream of the future. And it looks like you need to spend some time waiting for whatever it is that you want to come into fruition. But we're taking more cards, so we'll get some more information. Okay. It's kind of interesting that both cards talk about time. The waiting game is about time. Be in the present, dream of the future, that's about time. The hanged man, <laughs> time. Okay. Yeah, I'd say that goes right there. This is talking about you putting yourself in isolation just for a moment because you have questions and you're seeking enlightenment. And this will help you gain enlightenment, okay? So let's get another card. Yeah, definitely get the feeling that there is a timing element here. Something is important about time. Beautiful, happy, happy. So what this says to me is if you do this in the right time, have patience, you are going to be very happy. This card is a wonderful card. It talks about you, yeah, pretty much what it says, just being really happy. Okay. Let's get another card. Mm -hmm. The Hierophant. And both of these cards, if you'll notice, they are smiling. It's like they are very, very happy. And the Hierophant talks about you going to a higher source. And here you can see this looks like it's going to a higher source as well. So I would say that's really relevant. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the world, which talks about you closing out of a cycle successfully and starting something new. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I would say going inside, using your intuition like the hangman, 
to finding answers that you seek is going to be very beneficial. Surrender. Okay. This is you surrendering potentially to time. If you're in a hurry to make something happen, try to relax that energy. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get another card or two. And it, it does look like, though, if you take your time, whatever time is needed, and be thorough, gather the answers that you're looking for, things are going to come together beautifully. <laughs> Beautiful card. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles, to me, is all about balance. Her career side is very lucrative, and she loves it. Her home side is filled with love, and somehow she manages to have the two in a beautiful balance. And if you have, you know, responsibilities at home and responsibilities with your career, you know what a challenge that can be. But she does it beautifully. So here it is saying have balance. Okay. Or create balance if you don't already have it. Yeah, and um, looking at the images, here's this circle, right? It's a pentacle. Here's a circle that gets smaller and smaller, like it's pointing up to here. Be in the present. Dream of the future, but be in the present moment. You have the hangman again. Okay. So it's definitely, it's the universe's way of saying, I meant what I said. Go inside, you know, put yourself in solitude for a moment. And whatever questions that you have about anything, use your intuition. It's there for you to guide you. Tower. Okay, ah, and look at the bottom of the deck. The world card again, that's twice that's been at the bottom of the deck, which says that you are successfully completing a cycle and starting a new one. And this is like, what do you want to start? What reality do you want to create for yourself? Because something is closing out and something new is beginning. Okay? Beautiful. Okay, let's talk about the tower for just a minute. Towers only have a few things in common. One, they're abrupt, typically, and two, they create change. The rest is all over the board. They can um, be very positive. They can be very challenging. They can be tiny. They can be big. But something I'm noticing here about this tower, so I would say this is a good tower. You see the shape, the tower. The Hierophant, it's going up. Even Happy Happy, it's going up. So it looks like all the whole column is pointing up. So going to your higher self, the universe, the angels, you know, if you um, need guidance, that is the best place to find it. Here it's also doing the same thing. And even in the very first card, which was your beginning energy, if you look at the pyramids, they're going up. Balance. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. Successful compromise. The power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. Here, this card to me is all about balance. So you have a few cards about balance, a few cards about going inside to find the answers that you're looking for. Okay? So I really want to put this down here, but there is not enough room. Let me see. Let's put these over maybe. There we go. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you need to create balance. I'm not saying you don't already have it. You might already have it, but maybe this is a specific balance for a specific purpose, right? Because here you have questions. And it's saying go inside to find the answers. Okay. Okay, this kind of fits right in there. The Eight of Water. The need to move on, seeking more from life than you are experiencing. A spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes. A change in priorities, leaving home. Something to do with having more of a spiritual experience. And, like I said, all three of these, and even these two, are pointing up like, like to the heavens, right? And here, you're seeking enlightenment. You need to wait for the perfect time, or the best time, creating balance. And to me, this it goes right in line here. And this is not a bad energy. This is a good energy. This is about you wanting to find enlightenment, a spiritual enlightenment, okay? Let's get another card. Walkabout. You discover your path in sacred walkabout. The trees are your people. The earth is your tribe. In indigenous lessons, you find the will to survive, which to me fits right under here. And this column. Both of these. Right? So, this is also referring to you Discovering your path. Here it's discovering your path. And these look like, you know, you're going up to the heavens, a spiritual quest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Really beautiful. Okay. Let's take a few clarifying cards. Take one for the tower. The Hierophant, which you have right here. You also have right here. Okay. Now the Hierophant... It's talking about you working with a teacher, a mentor, somebody that's um, a guiding authority. So you can expand your knowledge and learn certain principles, certain ideas with a trusted source. Okay? So this is clarifying the tower, and you also have it right here. 
Okay. So. Okay, so this tower moment might very well be an enlightenment, okay? Because you're learning from a higher source, right? And here this one is going up into the heavens, enlightenment. So this might be something that you haven't been aware of or, you know, something that you're learning that is like an epiphany or something, all right? Okay. Let's get another clarifying card for surrender. Okay. We have the King of Pentacles for surrender. The King of Pentacles is a beautiful energy. It's having the Midas touch. And it would be known as like the ultimate business owner. But one thing that I really like about this energy is it is a truly caring energy. Okay? So a lot of Pentacles, the Midas touch, and a lot of care for others. It's beautiful. All right. And let's get um, another card for the waiting game. I find that one kind of intriguing. The world. This is the third time for the world. Only this time it's coming out. Okay. The other two times it was at the bottom of the deck. A successful completion of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. Yeah, so you, what you're doing, this waiting game, is you are trying to be patient, which can be a challenge sometimes, and waiting for whatever cycle you're in to end so you can begin the cycle that you want to start, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's get one card for both of these. The Eight of Wands. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Okay. You're going inside seeking enlightenment. And I'm sure it's about why is this taking so long? Whatever it is you're wanting to do. Because this is, this card is very fast, positive moving energy and a lot of it. So you're going in, you know, why is this taking the time that it's taking? Whatever it is that you're wanting to do, you're wanting to do it now or very soon. And here's balance, here's balance, here's surrender. Being the present, dream of the future. So this whole thing is saying yes. This happiness and joy, this spiritual quest, this walkabout, it will come. But it will come in divine timing. Even though you might like it to come now. <laughs> Which is totally understandable. I get it. But it's saying you've got to have patience. I guess things have to be aligned just right. So... Let's take a few other cards and see what they have to say. Um, I was thinking of patience. There used to be this old commercial, and it's old. It was a ketchup commercial. It was all about anticipation, you know, watching the ketchup slowly drip out. And that's what came to my mind's eye just now. Very hard to have patience sometimes. Nothing is wasted. Okay, what this is telling you is 
This time that you are awaiting is valuable. There is a reason for it. There is something to learn during this time that will prove beneficial to you when you do close out the cycle and start on your new adventure, okay? So there is something that you are supposed to learn or be involved with that will teach you something that you're to take with you on this quest. Mm -hmm. Nothing is wasted, even challenging times. You know, you learn and you turn that into wisdom. And in the future, you can use that wisdom or help others with it. Okay? So I'd say that kind of goes right in there. Yep. Okay. Let's get one more of these. And this can be hard, you know, because uh, it falls right in with the waiting game. But apparently there is something that you are to learn that will be very valuable to you. But rest assured, you got the world three times. There is going to be a successful completion of the cycle that you're in so you can start on your new adventure. All right? It's going to happen, but it will happen in the universe's time. Okay, this is saying act as if. So what that says to me, plan for, believe, you know, here it's be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. Now that's kind of what this is, only this is saying even in your waking hours, you know, believe, act as if, believe, know it's coming to pass. Okay. Oops. Alrighty. Almost done. It's a very interesting reading. I need a card that has the word patience on it. Mm-hmm. Okay, just had three cards fall out. The Queen of Wands. She's very enthusiastic, very ambitious. She is very confident. And she is unafraid to speak up and be heard. And you have the King of Pentacles again. Here you have it, clarifying surrender, and you have it again. The Midas Touch, the ultimate business owner, and a very caring energy. And finally, the sun, which is the best energy of all. You can't get any better than the sun. Okay? So, what this really looks like is you are going to successfully close out of a cycle, the one that you're currently in, and you're going inside to seek enlightenment about why it's not happening. Because you would like for it to happen now. And it looks like the universe is saying, it's not time yet. Have patience. It will happen. But there's something you need to do where you are first or an experience you need to have, something you need to learn, okay? Maybe we should take a clarifying card for that. And in the interim, have balance in your life, okay? Just have patience and balance. It will all happen. Surrender to this and let the time go because this will happen in divine timing. Okay, and... This card is clarifying the surrender card. This is a card of, a you know, lots of abundance, lots of pentacles, and a 
very caring. So it's saying surrender. Maybe it's saying that if you do surrender, the end result will be very, very beneficial. And I think that's what it is because you also have this here. Okay. Um, and also, like I said, it's a very caring card. Let's go ahead and get a clarifying card for the venture, venture spirit. The <laughs> adventure that must be on my mind. The vulture spirit. Where nothing is wasted. Oh, two of them. We have two of them. First one, justice. Okay. Justice. Of course, it says, if anything has wronged you, justice is here to make it right. Balance the scales. But what I'm also seeing, balance, balance, and balance. Okay? So I believe this is more about balance, but it could be both. Um, if something happens that um, justice needs to come in, it will. And it's possible that's why you are still here. But it might be about balance. Maybe you have to have balance before you can close out of this cycle. If you have anything in your life that doesn't have balance, try to work on that and get it in balance. Okay. And the Seven of Swords also came out. Now about the Seven of Swords, it can have a couple of different meanings. One is trickery. That something a little underhanded is going on, okay? Where justice would come in and make things right. But it can also have the meaning where you need to prioritize what's important to you. Even if it means letting others down. You may need to put yourself first to get what you want. So it could actually be either one of those. Um, and I do not know which one it is. Mm -mm. Maybe we should take a card for that card. See, well, this one's going to try it out. The Three of Wands waiting for your ships to come in. This is like a midpoint energy where you've put something out there and you're waiting to see how it's returned to you. And it says, don't just stand there. Take action. Go forward. Help yourself out. So... This probably is not trickery. This is probably you needing to do something. Okay? It's probably where you have to prioritize what's important. Mm -hmm. Okay? Very interesting. Okay, let's talk about this for just a moment. And then we will take some cards from the universe to see what they would like to share. Um, remember, the world card has come out several times, and that's the universe's way of saying, I really, really, really meant what I said. Have patience, which is very hard to do, the waiting game, okay? Have patience. The cycle is ending successfully, and this new one is beginning. But it's going to happen in divine timing. And apparently you've been wondering, why has it taken so long for this thing to start? And it's because it's going to happen in divine timing. And there's something that you need to experience first. Or do first. And we've had balance and balance. Justice, which is balance come out, you know, three times. So it might very well have something to do with balance. Okay? Surrender to this. Get your balance. Be in the present. 
and dream of the future. And when divine timing is right, it will happen. So I would say, you know, of course, be in the present because that's really all we have. But go ahead and plan. It says dream of the future, you know, decide what it is you want to do, you know, be prepared for when it happens. And then the change will happen. You're going to go on a quest. It looks like a spiritual quest. A walkabout. Right? You remember me talking about even the tower is pointing up. The hierophant in this card is pointing up. Happy, happy's pointing up. Everything's pointing up like to the heavens. So you're going to be very happy. And you are going to learn from a higher source. And when it happens, when this change happens, it could be abrupt. You know, here you are waiting, 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 and then poof, you're ready. The act as if card. Okay. Prepare, believe it, and live it. Here, have confidence, ambition. Here, is a Midas touch. You have it twice, so maybe in this new beginning that you are going to have, it might be quite lucrative. And then you also have the sun, which is the very best energy there is. It's ultimate happiness, joy. It is the shine your light kind of energy. So while this is require, requiring you to have patience, it is going to be beautiful when it does come to pass. Okay? And... Final couple notes. Like I said, balance. So maybe there's something you need to balance and or experience. Nothing is wasted. So it might just be learning patience. Only you will know. Okay? All right. Let's get some cards from the universe and see what they would like to share. I think this is an extremely interesting reading. One that could be challenging because you have to have patience. And patience, like I was talking about that ketchup commercial, is not always easy. Mm -mm. Matter of fact, oftentimes it's not. Unless it's something you don't want to do. Then it's very easy to have patience. Okay. Like go to the doctor, the dentist, things like that. Okay, let's get the first card. A decision. This is saying, use your intuition. You have choices. You have a decision to make. Okay? Well, this flipped right out. <clears throat> this is saying you're going to be very happy with your life. Very content. Okay? Hold on just a second. One more. Your very last card is a Wheel of Fortune. Okay. When this change happens, it's going to be a fortunate new beginning for you. The wheel is turning in your favor. Absolutely beautiful. I think this reading really is beautiful. Something here you need to learn or do, and it could be patience, balance. But when, remember this three times, when it closes out, everything is going to start happening and it is going to be beautiful. Thank you so much. Let's get a charm. Sometimes I get teased. So we'll see. A cowboy hat. Uh-huh. Like a Stetson or something? Okay, what does that mean? I do not know. The only thing, I, uh, what first came to my mind, this could be specifically to just one person or a few. If this is familiar to you, 
maybe there's something in this message for you specifically, okay? Like maybe you wear that type of a cowboy hat. But let's get another card. Card. Let's get another charm. Hmm. It's a bottle of wine. That is saying it will be time to celebrate. Okay? Something beautiful is coming about. And we can see that. Happy, happy. And the sun. The Wheel of Fortune. And several other cards. Okay, thank you so much. I hope this helps. Much love. Bye.